down, and he's handled the ball very well in this game. Ike Meyer has, even though he does have some turnovers, he's been placed under more duress than normal. He's a two guard. He's had to handle a little bit more than he's used to tonight. You know, guys, Daniel Bejarano is an interesting story. He's from the Phoenix area and was headed to Texas. His dad was murdered. So he then decided to go to the University of Arizona when Sean Miller got the job. Kind of fell out of favor as they over-recruited. Has now found a home at Colorado State. And what a tremendous player he is off the bench for the Rams. Sixth man of the year in the Mountain West. And with all of these senior starters graduating, Bejarano and Akias will be a big part of Larry Eustace's team. And now they change the call and give it to UNLV. Should be a Eustacey <laughs> camera that you can access I, he at he, all times. He makes it very easy to read lips. <laughs> there you stay seeing Frank Martin. You're the best. Mike Rice from uh, Rutgers. He's good. Yeah. They should be fouling. Down, they have absolutely should right. be fouling. Ten seconds in the clock, don't foul now. Well, yeah, they should have been beginning of the possession. Now they do. And UNLV will get two shots. I mean, you're ten with under two to go. You got to foul. Colorado State has just gotten ice cold here in the last few minutes. They've missed five straight shots. And Dorian Green remains on the bench with that injured ankle. Coach, would you have played him? He's not 100% and you're going to the NCAA tournament. You don't want to win your league tournament. I would, I would probably not, but I, I can understand. I mean, I don't know exactly how he was before the game. But I, he said he was okay. He didn't say I'm great. Then he you're just gonna play him. Yeah. I think you play him. I would have played him too. Now he's got till at least next Thursday if they lose, which it looks like they're gonna. He's got at least till next Thursday because they're not gonna be in the first round. I tell you what, Reinhardt's been great. Great. Really improved yeah. since early in the year. We, great. I agree. We called their game. They lost to Oregon here. And between Bryce DeJohn Jones and Kate Reinhardt, they took turns taking bad shots. Boy, has he been good tonight. And one turnover. And guys, he shot one for ten on Wednesday. 15% in his last four games. But he comes to life here in the Mountain West Conference semifinals. I mean, he had that reputation in high school. Uh, and there were times in which games, not big games from modern day, that he wouldn't play well and he chucked too much. But in the biggest of games, two-time state champion or an AU ball, that guy wants the ball. And he has a creative mid-range game, step back, and of course, when he gets the threes rolling, he's very hard to defend. Keep in mind this UNLV team for most of the year, the only starter that had played a full season of college hoops was Anthony Marshall. Birch was a transfer. DeJon Jones a transfer, Reinhardt and Bennett freshmen. This team now starting to gel at the absolute right time for Dave Rice. And then you throw in the, the, the injury to Moser and guys coming and going and you know they're just getting it together now so you got to give Dave Rice all kinds of credit. His team really starting to come together except for that Fresno State win and they had won six in a row. And then they lost the Fresno State game so this team playing very well late in the year. Well, you think about the talent on this roster, and they've got plenty. Would, would you be surprised if this team made a sweet 16 run? I just worry about the, the point guard situation and their ability to play in the half court. Yeah. That's what I worry about. Yeah, they, they have stretches where it's ugly and where they take bad shots. But there is talent, and though Marshall's not a true point, he has done a very good job of playing within himself. Very good. Marshall getting the fans riled up. This will be UNLV's first championship game since 2010. Their eighth overall. 
Foul is called with 18 seconds to go. Gives us a chance to look at our Napa play of the game. Well, these three J's that Bennett made in the first half from three, one was better than the other. And this is when they broke the game open, really, and took the lead. Bennett was spectacular in that period. You see his skills tonight were on full view from jump shots to drives to putting it on the floor. You name it, he's got it. Normally in Vegas, when they make it rain, it's a completely different connotation. But Anthony Bennett was making it rain here at Thomas and Matt. He had 23 points on Wednesday, and he leaves tonight with 19. Kane Reinhardt was special. The mid-range jump shot pull-up, I thought, was, the, was the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. I'm excited because we got a big-time game tomorrow. Woo! Not that we wouldn't have had one anyway, but we really have one now. So I know there's some people in Albuquerque thinking about getting on a flight and heading down. You feel free. Good luck getting a ticket. That'll be the tough part. Sell out tonight at the Thomas and Mack Center for the semis. And this city is flooded with Lobo fans. It'll go down in the books as a 10-point UNLV win. And the Rebels are now...